We are just starting the second week of this challenge and I am already off track. <laughs> Will I be able to fix it? Yo, this doesn't make any sense. As usual, well, this is not a spoiler video. Hello loves and welcome to week two of NaNoWriMo. I am your host Tatiana Volk and today we're gonna try and figure out whether or not I can get back on track. Now last week wasn't that bad as you saw I was able for the most part to keep up with my daily words. I'm pretty pretty set in my word goal except we did kind of end on a cliffhanger because I gave you an update before I actually finished my words yesterday and spoiler alert I was not successful that was the first day so far that I wasn't able to hit the min goal of the day which is 1667 words so I, I failed because I was so tired on this morning when I went to go work on everything, I, uh, I, I, I filmed, I filmed a little bit of what I discovered. Okay, okay. So <laughs> I'm trying to write out the stuff for today and I was looking at yesterday's work and it was late already when I started this. So I was really tired. Sleep was getting a hold of me and I started making less and less sense. I was literally falling asleep at the keyboard. Like I was just like, and then I'd like wake up because I knew I was trying to write and so then I would be like that let's try and get back on track and I was just it was a mess and I started making notes <laughs> partially because I wanted to get the words in and partially because I also wanted future me to know what was happening because it was such a mess uh, basically gets blacklisted and loses a ton of money a ton of money had nothing to do with what I was talking about. So I said, I don't know if that's what I was trying to say there at the end. I'm super tired and struggling to keep my brain functioning. And then I keep going and things are still okay. It's not too bad yet. I go into the next section where I'm talking about insecurities of this character. And I say, this isn't even true when it is part of the dot, dot, dot. I stopped writing, I fell asleep and I don't know what I was saying. So I said, I'm really struggling. I am literally falling asleep in the middle of typing and losing my train of thought and instead of doing a close bracket I do a C. <laughs> I don't know but again I'm still going and then I get to the why can't they do it and now typos galore because I don't spell they right and so I just randomly say because there are so many guards that they're and I'm like yo this doesn't make any sense it's like all of a sudden I started thinking about a completely different story <laughs> So I had to do a closing note to myself and I said I hate to say it but this might be the first day that I do not reach my gears again still falling asleep supposed to be goals I am failing asleep I can't seem to stay up long eof to be useful at all it was dot 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 I can't type right now and have it to be useful so this just means that we need to stop I don't want to give up though and this feels like giving up. So I felt so bad when I stopped last night, but like even this cohesive note of me, you know, trying to be awake and saying like this isn't working. I fell asleep again when I said it was dot dot dot. I don't know what I was gonna say because I like was, again fell asleep. Yesterday was a train wreck. I definitely need to make sure that I'm only writing in the morning or early in the afternoon. So yeah, anyway, I guess back to future me, intro me, more sense me. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's the kind of stuff I was putting out yesterday. Not super useful, not super helpful. So I just called it quits. Now you might be wondering, oh, well, if you've been able to hit the daily goal and you're ahead on your words overall and you only miss this one day, how are you behind? I have an answer for that because I've been struggling for the past couple of days because I need a little bit of foundation work 
and I keep putting it off because I don't want to count that towards my words, which shouldn't be a problem. I should just do that for my daily word count. What I'm hoping to do during this vlog is to really work on the outline, the overall plan, what everything I want to do so that I can use that to write the different scenes. Second, I need to figure out my characters a little bit more. I want to know what makes them tick, what the point is, because like how am I really supposed to develop the plot if I don't know the characters and what their motivations and goals are? And then the third big thing, which I already started and did a good chunk of today, is working on the organization. Basically, I was doing everything in my normal note-taking app, which I love. It's absolutely fantastic. But because of that, I was trying to set it up in a way that I could tell what I wrote every day. If I wanted to work on something further out, I didn't feel comfortable because it would throw off the organization for things. And I was just having a whole entire mess. It would just be easier to transfer to Scrivener, which is a program that is specifically designed for writing novels and stories and things like that. I ended up getting it when I did NaNoWriMo years ago. I think I got like the discount or whatever, or I had gotten it right beforehand, who knows. That is what I did this morning. I transferred everything over. I actually did more words while I was doing it. And I kind of organized things into groups, set it up so that I got all of the things that mattered to be counted, all of the things that I've been working on. I got my words in for today, sort of. I'm currently at 18,100. 156 words as of right now and we'll probably try and do a little bit more since my goal for the day was 18,500 and in all honesty if I can get further than that that would be fantastic because I might have another day like yesterday where I don't get very many words in. No it's mine. Good morning okay it is day three i think of this week for nanowrimo yesterday was actually pretty successful i ended up doing a lot of words i read a bunch of nonfiction writing stuff i ended up continuing with save the cat writes a novel got a bunch of ins inspiration wrote a bunch of stuff down uh, me and my family ended up getting a pool table for the living room that we ended up getting off of the facebook marketplace and so we ended up playing so i have a little bit of footage of me playing pool with my little brother i ended up winning I would have lost if I was playing more severe rules. I would have lost off, off of a technicality because I scratched on the eight ball. But you know what? <laughs> I'm taking that win. <laughs> it's, a, it's a losing win, but I'm still taking it as a win. Now, today I am trying to do the Velvet Was the Night reading vlog for my besties. And it's like total spoil spoilers going through all of it. I'm gonna get through this today, hopefully. And then tomorrow we're going to tackle Fat Cat's Charlie Vega for the YouTubes for everybody, the public book club. But so far for Velvet Was the Night, I'm not that far into it. And I'm feeling kind of meh where everything's getting set up. It's a little bit early to say. I'm not loving it. I'm not hating it. It can go either way. I do have a bit of a headache and I have like a million chores and tasks that I'm supposed to be doing. So I just put away a bunch of my clean clothes because I ended up doing laundry. I want to say yesterday, but actually it was the day before. For. Like yesterday was a mess. I, I was supposed to do all of this stuff yesterday, but I didn't. I was just like working and trying to get things off. And then after work, I just like watched YouTube videos <laughs> and just chillaxed. So I'm doing everything today. So putting away the clean clothes. I need to put away a bunch of boxes. I have stuff that I need to take down. I don't know if I'm going to get that far into stuff because I'm not feeling well. I have a headache. I feel a little bit nauseous. I I just feel like crap right now. Um, but I do want to continue with the book, film that video, do some NaNoWriMo stuff, try and be as productive as possible.
coming together. Finally put up the Ikea shelves that I got in last video. I know I didn't really show very much from it, but they were like sitting in my trunk. Some of them are still in my trunk. I ended up getting extra ones if I ever take this bit out. I was all like, oh, I wanna be able to use that and the shelves. So those are gonna sit in my garage because it's more cost effective to do that <laughs> instead of trying to wait and buy these because they take forever to become in stock. It took months to get the shelves that I have and it was only 11 bucks each. I mean, that is 30 bucks that I didn't need to spend, but I know it's peace of mind because I just don't ever want to have to deal with that again. But yeah, I do still have some boxes over here that I need to finish going through. Some of that stuff is just supposed to get moved there. That's like decoration. These are bins so that I can store stuff. So I want to kind of like go through things, probably some of this stuff so it's not so cluttered looking. And I mean like technically this stuff is also cluttered looking, which is kind of sad. I am going to get another shelf for this one. I'm rambling. working on my NaNoWriMo pages for the day. I am currently at 22,081 words. So I feel like I am killing it. I'm at 1,500 words for two a day. So I'm gonna try and get another 500 words in. And then I'm going to jump back into reading the Velvet Was the Night and Fat Chance Charlie Vega books, which I'm enjoying. I was always intending on annotating Velvet Was the Night. I've been having a ton of fun doing this and doing the spoiler vlogs for the besties. Now, I was kind of on the fence on whether or not I would wanna do that with Fat Chance Charlie Vega. And because I decided to use this as more of an opportunity to listen to an audiobook while I'm doing other stuff, I haven't really gone into fully annotating. I'm just kind of page marking a bunch of stuff. So like when something comes up, I try and find the page and then I put in a color coded page mark. I'm gonna go in later, maybe tomorrow before the live show and highlight in stuff like that. The problem is I have so many tabs. <laughs> might be a problem like it might it might be an issue but yeah I'm having a good time I still have a lot to go I'm supposed to finish both of these by 5 p.m. tomorrow which admittedly is quite a lot of time but I would like to get further into them like I'm just not far enough into these to really feel comfortable with finishing both of them tomorrow. So uh, that's what I'm doing. I also want to read a little bit more of Save the Cat Writes a Novel. I was reading Mastering Suspense, Structure, and Plot. These are obviously for the NaNoWriMo side of things, writing and all of that good stuff, and I am enjoying them. This one's a little bit more dry, even though it does seem to have some parts that I find interesting and useful. This one I put on hold originally because it spoils a lot of books that I'm actually interested in reading, but I decided to go through with it anyway. Okay, editing me here, what I was trying to say is that when I looked into it a little bit more, it seemed like it was pretty easy to avoid most of the spoilers. They do have these like book breakdowns and there's only one 
book that I actually want to read that I haven't read already that has a book breakdown and the rest of the spoilers are just like a sentence or two within the chapter which is relatively easy to avoid and or aren't that bad so it actually hasn't been an issue like I was worried it was going to be so far. I'm not done with it though so like maybe there might be issues along the way but it hasn't been an issue at this time. I'm really enjoying this for the most part. Lots of useful information so I would recommend this. I also ended up getting the screenwriting version so Save the Cat by Blake Snyder. Uh, Jessica Brody who wrote this version did it based off of this. So this is the original source material which is for screenwriting although he mentions that you can use it for other things and then this is using that and focusing on building a story and I'm liking the way that the book is structured so far so I am going to read a little bit more of that before I jump into focusing on these. I'm actually probably going to do that before I finish the remaining 500 words that I have to do today because uh, I find that this is very inspiring but at the same time I'm kind of on a roll so maybe I'll try and get those 500 words in then I'll read a little bit of this maybe write a little bit more after that and then hopefully spend the rest of the night really making a dent in these bad boys. Morning! Okay, so in terms of NaNoWriMo yesterday, I exceeded my goal of 2,000 words for that day, so that worked out really well. Today, I am focusing on finishing these two books up because we have some live shows later, so I am currently trying to, to get through this. It's currently 4.32 am. I've been up for a little over an hour at this point and I've gotten a good chunk into Velvet Was the Night. I haven't touched Fat Chance Charlie Vega this morning yet. I guess because I'm also doing the spoiler vlog for this one, part of me is like, I want to focus on this one. Now in terms of how I'm feeling about this. I'm really enjoying this. Originally I wasn't thinking about annotating it at all and right now technically all I'm doing is using tabs to annotate it but I think I might go back in and like highlight stuff at some point because I'm enjoying the book. I'm enjoying it a lot. I know it's a YA coming of a possible love story situation. We have our main character who is plus sized with a very skinny popular best friend, a crush who likes her best friend but seems to show some sort of interest in her and uh, you know a, a cast of other characters that she's going to have to deal with. I think we have been introduced to some interesting characters so far. We've had an interesting incident so far. Like as usual, this is not a spoiler video, but I will have a separate exclusive spoiler video for Velvet Was the Night for my besties. So. Okay, another update. I just finished Velvet Was the Night. Now I'm back on to Fat Chance Charlie Vega and then I'm hopefully going to spend some time doing NaNoWriMo updates which obviously I'll take you along for the ride since that's what this whole video is about. I also need to go through the footage for all of this stuff. Originally I was going to have the Velvet Was the Night spoiler video for the besties be a video that I get the editors to do because I still have a couple more videos under what I've already paid to get them to do but I'm like I don't really want to <laughs> so yeah I don't know I I do want to figure out a video or two that I can have them do which I will have to set up sooner rather than later if it's going to be done in time and then I also need to basically cancel to make sure that I don't get charged for next month. I'm thinking as long as I can get two more videos done by them the price will be worth it but I don't know. <laughs> 
Okay, so I'm continuing with Fat Chance Charlie Vega in two things. One, I started actually annotating the books instead of just tabbing, I'm actually marking in the book. And two, because I just spent so much doing spoiler reviews and talks and all of that for the spoiler vlog for Velvet Was the Night, I wanna just like talk about things with this book. <laughs> Like this is not a spoiler video. So it's funny how nice that was doing. I, I do think it's going to be exciting doing the POC book club in terms of spoiler videos because I'm probably going to do that instead of regular live shows on the channel and then I'll just do live shows for the besties book club. Maybe not even every month. I don't know. I guess it just kind of depends. I'm enjoying doing the spoiler vlogs and I think the more I do it the more interesting they'll become because for the first one I didn't really think of sharing specific quotes during it but it also depends on the book, right? Like some books, there are specific words that you want to share. And then there's others where it's just thoughts or feelings that you want to go through. But yeah, this book, especially now that I'm highlighting, I'm seeing a lot of really nice quotes, like stuff that I think is, you know, shareable stuff. And there are also some sad moments. Like I'm wondering if I can find a quote that's not spoilery, because I feel like there have been some that are like life quotes. There's a moment where the mom is like frustrated about something that she's going through and she she ends up saying like, just promise me you girls won't devalue yourself for anyone. And I mean, anyone. And it's like, that is always <laughs> a good thing to remind, especially young women of, because it's so easy. And I mean, like, not that this doesn't happen with men as well, but it's so easy for women to try and change themselves to appease you know, the male gaze or a male interest or love interest of any gender. I don't know, it was just really nice seeing that. It's hard to see the difference in my tabs because of the colors that I picked. I have a color for moments that I just enjoy and then I have a separate color for things that are like negative and upsetting and I- Kiwi, I wasn't telling you to come to me. I was telling you not to stand on the table you're not allowed to stand on. I've set up a whole situation so that you can get to the window without hanging out on my desk and walking all over things you're not supposed to walk on. Anyway, I'm gonna, get, I'm gonna get back to reading and I will give you an update later. Okay, it is 10.30 and I have finished Fat Chance Charlie Vega and I loved it. I loved it. It was so cute. I'm so excited to talk with people about this book. It was cute. Five stars. And then I also realized that I may not have finished talking about or like letting you know what I think of Velvet Was the Night. It's kind of hard thinking about it after just reading Ch Fat Chance Charlie Vega because they are very different vibes. But I also really ended up enjoying this in the end. Part of me, I think originally was thinking five stars right off the bat, but I feel like I liked Fat Chance Charlie Vega more than I did Velvet Was the Night. And I'm not sure if that is fair, having read them like back to back and having this give me such like giddy cheesy happy vibes because it is a romance and it did have some YA tropes that I typically don't enjoy but it didn't bother me in the context of this story like I feel like in the context of this story it fit it made sense it added to the story some things were a little bit annoying, but it still worked, especially because some of the tropes that I don't like didn't happen immediately. There, there was a little bit more to it, which made it feel a little bit more authentic instead of just an annoying YA trope that I'm all like, I'm an adult, I don't wanna deal with this. <laughs> which is really the reason why I have an issue with YA is because there'll be like certain problems that they deal with that feel childish from an adult, which isn't fair because a lot of them are legit and you know, make sense. But like as an adult, I'm like, I don't, like this is annoying. <laughs> I don't want to deal with this. I think Crystal Maldonado did such a good job with how she put everything together that it didn't bother me. Like I said, it felt authentic. It felt like it helped. It felt, it didn't feel like an annoying trope. Like it just felt like part of the story. For both of these, let's see what I feel after discussions. <laughs> Cause you know, sitting down thinking about the details of a book can sometimes affect obviously your thoughts on it because you'll start thinking about things you didn't when you were originally reading it, which is a lot of the times why ratings will change the second time you read a book. Now I'm getting off track off traffic, <laughs> off topic, <laughs> I'm a mess. 
I do need to work on NaNoWriMo today. I am a little bit sad that I put off writing because I was in the mood to write earlier, but I really wanted to finish reading these so that I wasn't stressing over knowing that I had to do those today when I was supposed to be reading. So I think right now I'm going to head into the other room and get some, get some writing done. Oh my God, it's the first snow. Or at least this is the first significant amount of snow that has happened since the move. Little does she know. <laughs> That's so cool. Technically it was sm snowing a little bit yesterday, but it was so little that there was no buildup, so you couldn't really tell. And so this is this first snow for me at my house. That's amazing. Hello. Okay, so this should be NaNoWriMo updating at time. I finished the books that I need to for today. I moved on over here. I even uh, checked in with my Discord and made a, a writer's talk writing little channel within the whole book section of my Discord. And I'm down, like I'm ready, I'm ready. I also have my Save the Cat Writes a Novel book, which I've been reading a little bit to kind of get me inspired and to make sure that I'm like staying on track in certain things and, you know, taking advice and all of that, which has been helping since I'm kind of in the stage where I'm questioning, like I still need some work on the foundation, which we still need to work on. Today would actually be a great day to do that, except, my big problem right now is that my eyes are tired and so when I look at the screen especially it's a little bit on the blurry side. It's nothing too extreme but it is kind of uncomfortable. Now I do technically have actual prescription glasses for this scenario. When I'm not having this problem I actually can't even tell the difference really. Okay I know it's doing something but it doesn't really make anything seem <laughs> more clear or anything. So I usually don't wear them unless I have this problem and because of that they weren't a priority in making sure I knew exactly where they were so I have misplaced them during the move which is very frustrating <laughs> because now that I need them I have no clue where they are. So I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do because my eyes are not taking to the screen very well. So I may or may not have figured out, uncovered some more stuff about my tired eyes. I realized that it's not as bad when I'm on my laptop as when I'm on my computer. It's just really bizarre. Hello, it's me again. So basically what happened after this is I just let my eyes rest for a little bit and then when they were back to normal, I used my laptop because it was obviously easier on my eyes in general and I didn't wanna cause them an issue again. And then I just uh, wrote until it was time for the live show. Okay, it's time. We are about to go live for Fat Chance Charlie Vega. Also, it was a day for me, okay? So, <laughs> so I kind of ran out of time and didn't realize quite how much of a hot mess I looked. So don't at me, okay? I know I'm a hot mess. My hair's all over the place. So like, why did it dry like that? <laughs> it's just mute. I am feeling the nerves. <laughs> Let's see if I can fix my hair a little bit. My bangs have not been straightened and they look kind of a mess. I don't have time for this. Oh, let me save my NaNoWriMo file so I don't lose that. I'm so nervous. Oh, I should get more water. It says the microphone is working. My hair looks a little silly. Uh... But whatever. I didn't realize it looks so bad. I have four minutes and I need water. We're about to start. First off, Faithful Meth, thank you so much for helping to mod. This is amazing. I am so nervous, uh, but I guess it is time. 
All right, hello, hello, hello. Okay, so I just finished the live show for Fat Chance for Lee Vega and had such a good time. Thank you so much to everybody who hung out. I did give a little bit of a, a sneak peek into the next two bucks. So we're gonna be doing a lats away for December and six crimson cranes for January. And then I'm trying to find a good book by a black author for February. But yeah, that went so great. I had such a good time. I'm always super nervous. Now in a couple of hours, we're going to do the Velvet Was the Night live show, the Bestie live show. Okay. Oh, words. I have written 1,182 words so far today for NaNoWriMo, which means I'm at 24,132 words total for the month, and it is currently Saturday, November 12th at 6 p.m. So I'm probably gonna have dinner pretty soon, but I'm probably gonna try and write the rest of my 800 and something words to to flesh out my 2000 because I'm trying to do 2000 words a day. So I'm going to try and do that now before dinner and before the next live stream, which hopefully won't be as stressful as the last one. It's more creamy than it is fluffy though, but I kind of see it's like somewhere between a pudding and a mousse. He does make mousse. Good morning! So if you're wondering, I wanted to have long hair today, so I am blonde now. Yeah, so it is currently 5.11 a.m. and I don't really think I've been giving you that many updates. I'm trying to spread them out so that these videos aren't crazy long, but I also don't know what I've been giving you updates for, so hopefully there's enough good stuff. It is Monday morning, and yesterday I did start reading The Hacienda, which I'm really enjoying it. I'm also annotating this one, except my annotations are really simple. <laughs> I'm mostly just put, focusing on the spooky parts in the book. So that's my main color that I'm dealing with. And anytime something spooky happens, I mark it. And then anytime there's like a full spooky scene, I mark that in different color. I kind of want to pick up another book that I'm not annotating because I keep like, this is going to take me a while to get through since I keep rereading sections over and over again so that I can like highlight them, take the information out of it that I want, it, this, that, and the other. So I kind of just want like a chill audiobook read because I just, I'm in the mood to listen to audiobooks and like, I don't have a chill one that's currently going. I have an interesting update for my writing. So yesterday I actually didn't get a lot of writing done, even though I feel like I had not necessarily some epiphanies, like I still have a lot of work that I need to do and I'm not as close to things as I would like but I did have a realization that I'm doing the thing that I kind of did with my last story where I'm making things complicated. Why you gotta go and make things so complicated? <laughs> So going through some of the stuff that they were saying here, I was like, oh, I need to make things more interesting. And so I added a whole nother layer to my story to kind of have a extra high stakes situation and you're doing all of this stuff. And then I was like, well, how does this actually tie into the story? This is its own separate story. What I had in the beginning was already there. I just need to like write it in a compelling way. I still need to figure out the outline. Like the whole point of this week is for me to come in here and figure out what I'm doing for the outline to like get back on track and that's not happening and it's very frustrating. I do really wish that I had figured all of this stuff out beforehand instead of during NaNoWriMo because I'm also having the problem where I don't want to like delete stuff because that'll negatively affect my word count, but I also kind of want to start over in certain areas. I should show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about for the outline. As you can see, I've got like act one, and then if we go down here, there's like act two, act three. I did close these so that we don't have a bunch of spoilers, but I still suggest not to read the titles because possible spoilers, I don't know if things might actually change. But yeah, so this is my outline and I do technically have a lot of stuff in here that may or may not end up in the final and so stuff needs to be done so I'm thinking of just doing a new folder I do have this general story note inbox maybe I'll just transfer everything back into there I don't want to open it because that 
also has spoilers, more spoilers than in here, so. <laughs> But yeah, I really, really want to take the time to figure out my outline because that is my biggest problem right now. It's not the writing. It's the fact that I don't know if anything that I'm writing is actually going to end up in the story in an extreme way. Like, I don't mind, like, if I had an outline and I was writing things and then I wrote a... a scene and was like, oh, this doesn't work. Like, that's gonna happen. That's okay. But like, if I'm writing a bunch of stuff that's in a completely wrong direction and all of a sudden I've written like half of the book and it doesn't make sense or more than half of the book and it doesn't make sense to what I actually want, that I'm not into. I thought I was more of a pantser than I actually am. Like, I'm definitely a plotter, 100%. <laughs> I'm a mess, guys. Okay, hi, some time has passed because it is currently snowing outside. Yes, full on snowing. And if you guys don't know, I'm from California. It doesn't really snow there. So <laughs> uh, moving to a state that has full four seasons and being here while living here for the first time, having it snow, like full on snow, is great. A couple of days ago, we had a light dusting and like when I went out, you could see like hints of it, but it was like very mild. This is a couple of inches worth of snow, which is so cool, like so cool. And I've been here before, I have family here. So I visited during winter when it was snowing. So it's not my first time being around snow or even being here when it snowed. It's my first time living here where it snows. <laughs> Like this isn't a vacation. This is a work day for me. So that's an experience. That's what it is. This is an experience. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. It is snowing. It is full on snowing. How cool. This is even better than the other day. Okay, we're taking Kiwi to experience oh. snow. Stopping by just to oh, tell God. you I hope that you understand why these things on my mind keep me up at night. Maybe you are the answer, but lately
I forgot to close the video out for this week. Basically, I made things complicated when it came to my writing. I didn't finish the Hacienda, but I did figure some things out. Hopefully next week we can really get back on track and really make a positive dent in this whole situation. So thanks so much for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to include a snowflake emoji in the comment section down below, and I will catch you in the next video. Until then, bye!